Hi, I'm Max Pub, and today I'm going to be talking about Disney Channel dolls. Now, this is not just related to the, like, Disney Channel shows, but also Disney Channel movies. I've been very fascinated with, like, things that got media and things that, or things that got doll media and things that did not. Um, I don't think I'm using that right. Things that got dolls. Yes, there we go. Better, not media. Anyways. Um, and just, like, looking at, like, what they, what they chose to give dolls to for Disney and what they didn't. And so if you want to see a deep dive of, like, specific ones, because I'm not going over every single doll from each of these shows or movies, but I am going to just, like, talk about the different ones that exist and got dolls and stuff. So I hope that makes sense. If I miss anything, please let me know. Um, there might be a part two. I just don't want to, like, have to rush through this. Um, so, yeah, there's probably going to be a part two, but I don't know yet. So first we're going to be starting out with shows that got movies or, sh- oh, my gosh, shows that got dolls rather than movies. So TV shows first excluding the very first one and we'll kind of talk about it so first we have disney vip dolls this one is kind of like like the other ones are like example the next one will be hannah montana like variety just like one certain thing but disney vip is like consisting of multiple tv shows so and movies because sharpay in here is from sharpay's fabulous adventure which is a movie okay so disney VIP dolls, um, consisting of dolls from the shows of that time, if that makes sense. These dolls were made by Mattel. I said by Disney. They're actually made by Mattel, which I had no clue that they were made by Mattel. But anyways, they were released in 2011. There would be two waves, each wave's consisting of two more releases after, if that makes sense. Um, which was not a part of that wave, or at least that I could tell. I don't know. Um, so the dolls would be from shows of that time, like I said, of popular characters. Wave one being Alex Russo from Wizards of Waverly Place, Hannah Montana, uh, Sharpay Evans, you can see them in here. And then there would be fashion packs as well, but then they also released Cece and Rocky not part of the first launch of wave one that makes sense um and then the second wave consisting of alex russo Cece, and rocky this might help so alex which oh my gosh look at alex um i absolutely love these dolls sorry cc and rocky and then we also got china and teddy um who are also released. I think that these dolls are absolutely amazing. I know that they're pretty sought after, or at least I think they are, and then also pretty, like, expensive. Um, but maybe I'm wrong, but I absolutely love them. Like, this Alex is one of the best. I also love Cece and Rocky here, as they're, these are the only dolls that Cece and Rocky got, and then the only ones that China and Teddy got. And then who was the other? Sharpay. Sharpay got a doll. Anyways, But I think that these ones look absolutely amazing. I love them. I want them so bad. Ever since I found out about them, like, watching, like, people do dolls they didn't know exist or discontinue dolls, um, I saw them on one of those videos, and I've just wanted them ever since, so top of my list. Anyways, moving on, like I said, we have Hannah Montana. So Hannah Montana was created, well, the dolls were created by two companies or produced by two companies, Mattel and Jack's Pacific. Um, and then I also said possibly play along toys because I saw th- a few things mentioning it, but I didn't want to do too much research to actually see if they were made by play along toys, but a few eBay listings mentioned it. So, and I do know that it, more Disney dolls, uh, are also produced by play along. So possibly play along toys. Um, and then they, these dolls were produced alongside the TV show, oftentimes wearing outfits that were, shown in the tv series um which is super fun because some of these are pretty iconic um and then i couldn't find specifically a time so i just went off of like what the doll um like the ebay listing said so like 2006 is when the show was produced and i saw a lot of ebay listings for like 2008 so i'm gonna go um with sometime 
around there is when they started to make the dolls um and I didn't know who made them first like if it was Jax, Mattel or if they were releasing dolls alongside each other I don't know um but yes so Mattel made at least 12 dolls that's that's the information I gathered they made at least 12 dolls um from what I could find consisting of Hannah Montana, Miley, uh I almost said Miley Cyrus, Miley Stewart, Lily, and Lola. They also did I think a few two-in-one dolls um and I don't know if any of the Mattel ones sang but then Jack Pacific if you look up Jack Pacific dolls oh we'll just show the Mattel ones because these ones are absolutely gorgeous as well. You can really tell the face mold is Mattel like can you see it? I don't see a two in one, so maybe they didn't. Mattel didn't make it, but I'm pretty. I thought I thought I said that they did, but these outfits, to be honest, I don't recognize the outfits from the show. Like I can definitely like the top one with the jeans and the that look looks familiar, but not all of them look familiar to me. But it is possible. I it's been a little bit since I've seen the show, so I couldn't really tell you. But Jack specific, if you look up Hannah Montana dolls. It's mainly going to be Jack Pacific that shows up. I think those are the ones that I have because I have a few Hannah Montana dolls. Um, so yeah, Jack Pacific makes a lot of dolls. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and like I said, they did, these ones made two-in-one, because I have Jack Pacific two-in-one, where it's Hannah Montana, and then you can change her into Miley, or Lily, that you can change into Lola, um, and then they also made Oliver and a few other boy dolls, which I'll show in a minute, um, but I did find some information on the Mattel ones that I forgot to say. Um, someone said that they use the Mary-Kate and Ashley body mold, and then Lily's face is the diva face in case you were wondering um but yes they made some oh, these ones are the ones that are so iconic like I remember a lot of these outfits it's possible that the Mattel ones were based off of it but I just don't fully remember um them sorry sorry to say but then they made some boy dolls they made Travis and this so iconic like these outfits so iconic and nostalgic is that the right word um and then I want to show this one because like again I remember this outfit and it also shows the doll and what outfit it's based based off of um and then they also made a Jake doll which is interesting um that they they made a Jake doll um, and cool, neat, cool for Jake. Uh, next we have Wizards of Waverly Place dolls. These dolls were produced by Mattel Shocker around 2009. Most slash all of the dolls that I could find were Alex Russo. Uh, I don't know if the outfits were actually from the show. I kind of remember the red outfit with the little yellow piece there, but I don't, I don't, it's been a while since I watched Wizards of Waverly Plays. I really want to go back to it, but I don't remember if these are outfits that she wore. The boxes didn't really show, but I didn't try that hard to look. Um, anyways, uh, um, most of the dolls consist of having a wand or something which I think is obviously obvious since she's a wizard um and if it didn't come with a wand I wouldn't want it um and then Mattel oh we'll just take a look at the other dolls I don't know what that little chest thingy box thing that the one doll has on the side if you can see the one with like the blue scarf I want to know what that is but I didn't I didn't know um, I like the faces. Some of the outfits are not my favorite. They definitely, like, scream, like, of its time. Um, but I just, I would want a few of these. These ones are not ones that, like, I absolutely need all of them of. Same for some of the others, like, the Montana VIP, I need all of them. But these ones specifically, like, I was not the biggest fan of these ones. Sorry, Alex. One of my favorite shows, by the way, though. Anyways, Mattel would go on to make some, like, little mini play sets, which would make great dolls for my dolls, um, and then they would have, um, backdrops for them, uh, like, a familiar places, you can see, and then also characters that the dolls didn't get, like Harper, Justin, Max, and the mom, and I have no clue if the dad had got one, but yes. Next, we have That's So Raven, and sadly... 
there were only two dolls that were made for this um for the show which is kind of sad but they're so good like I like them so much they were also created uh and made by Mattel one consisting of like her focus being her fashion is my assumption and then the other one as you can tell the box says styling hair so it's focusing on the styling of Raven's hair um so hair play doll which is cool um and then they were released around 2005 um as well I really like the the one with like the mushroom on her shirt that one's so good and I really really want it also didn't know that they made Raven dolls but they only made two Next, we have Lizzie McGuire, who, while Lizzie McGuire herself only got these two dolls, Hilary Duff got a few dolls, so I'm going to kind of include them in here, even though that's cheating. So, yeah, and there's a lot of information for this because the dolls, like, that I could find were created by a few different companies, um, or at least that's what, that's what I could find. So, yeah. Um, the one in the more cartoonish character look, um, with what I could find, the box says produced by, um, well, it says Disney Store on it, which is my assumption that it's produced by Disney Store, um, that could just be, like, sold at Disney, but I couldn't really find much about that. This box, the, whatever this is, our family tree, will, you'll see this a few more times. I'm interested in what this is, I'm definitely gonna want to go look it up. Anyways, um... The one that came with a bunch of different fashions, the box stated that it was D Dakin, Dakin Toys, um, D-A-K-I-N. Never heard of this brand. I could not find any other dolls for Lizzie McGuire. If there were any other ones produced, let me know. Um, they did make a few, like, plush toys, but I didn't look. That was there in the more cartoonish look. I didn't look to see what brand that was because I'm not super interested in plush dolls. Yet, I do have my eyes set on some. As I say that, I should not say that I'm not interested in plush dolls. But anyways, um, yeah. So, from what I can find, those were the only two Lizzie McGuire dolls that were released. Um, but there was a movie star. That one's already on there, sorry. Movie star in the middle. Um, one, I think she's called movie star, and that's Hilary Duff doll. Uh, and I think that's made by Mattel. And then there are... Uh, were two the other two on the sides were playmates uh toys which are made by hillary or made by playmates they're hillary doff dolls again this is not lizzie mcguire but i wanted to add them add them in because i thought that was interesting that she got her own dolls i'm pretty interested in celebrity dolls like fascinated with them like the different looks of them one of my favorite dolls that i had growing up was my taylor swift doll and i so yeah obviously i'm like fascinated with <laughs> celebrity dolls specifically like shows ones from shows but it's pretty interesting that they had like hillary duff um dolls and i wanted to include them in here anyways next we have oh we did not go there we go next we have kim possible this one i have very little information for this like the dolls that they made so I do apologize <laughs> that there's not too much um, information that I can find. Just that, um, just like, sorry, we're kind of speeding it up. There we go. Just like the Hillary, nope, just like the Lizzie McGuire doll, Kim Possible got that Our Family Tree doll. Don't know what that is. Going to look it up literally right after this. Um, and yeah so she got that and then we have a few other dolls and did I write down who they're made by so I assume the family the family tree whatever that's called is made by Disney because it says Disney store again this one that one is my personal favorite but I'm kind of moving over to the one in the middle as being my favorite so don't know but this doll I just went thrifting and I saw this doll not in her outfit but I saw the doll nude and I was like I don't know who this doll is so it's pretty exciting that like I just started like doing this video and I found her so now she's on my radar for dolls that I need because when I saw it I was like 
I kind of want to pick up this doll just so that I don't forget who she is and then not be able to find her later, which is a lot of times what happens. So I'll pick up new dolls that I think the face is interesting of so that I can then like use their body to like find who the doll actually is. But I passed because I had been buying a lot of stuff. So I'm kind of like so excited that I was able to figure out who it is without having to buy it because I know that I'm going to go and <laughs> go and buy them with their actual clothing on. But anyways, enough about me. Um, <laughs> so I really don't think that I put any other um, brands on here. I did write that I know that um, a bunch of like companies actually produced products and toys for Kim Possible, specifically ones that I recognize were Mattel and Basic Fun. But I know that Mattel will make other things that are not doll specific. Um, and I couldn't really tell who made the doll, so I do apologize. But they did make little characters, so Bonnie and Ma Monique, is that her name? I'm sorry. Um, and then they made some other ones. Um, and I think that they look so good. And it's just so fun and interesting. I didn't grow up with Kim Possible, but I did watch the movie, the live action movie when it came out. And I loved it. So this doll, I want so badly. Um, the one with like the little, I think it's a heart on her shirt. That one's also super cute and I really want her. Okay, then we're going to finish it up with switching into movie so this is going to be the last one that I do for this because this one still consists of a movie or consists of a tv show but is also a movie and you might know what it is in my opinion the most like when you think of like Disney channel movie or show dolls you probably like if you're a doll collector you probably think of this descendants I don't know if that's just me <laughs> um but like pretty big like thing that got dolls I guess you could say like in my opinion, other than Hannah Montana, but I don't know if a lot of people know <laughs> about Hannah Montana or if it's just me for their dolls. I feel like they're pretty popular. Anyways, Descendants, made by Hasbro, um, consisted of these dolls, and then they went along with each of the movies that were produced um, and if you don't know, Descendants, just for, like, a quick rundown, I didn't do it for any other thing, but they're supposed to be the children of Disney fairy tale characters, villains, royalty, whatever, you, uh, there are, and this is from the first movie, These Dolls, but they also made dolls for the TV show, which is Descendants Wicked World, which is why I counted it as both movie and TV show, um, and yeah, I really like these dolls, even though some of their hair is not great, but yes, I did write that they were released in 2015, and because I believe they're supposed to be making a new Descendants movie, I assume they're going to make dolls for it, so 2015 to now current, um, yeah, that's all that I have, um, but here's the ones from Wicked World, um, Again, I really like the Wicked World ones. I think they definitely took more, like, colorful inspiration because they weren't, like, the, the, the fashions were not ones that were being placed on people, if that makes sense. I don't know. It was cartoon version. Anyways, um, so yeah, that is going to be the, where we stop here, um, kind of moving into the Disney Channel movie dolls and this can give you, like, a, a minute to place if you're, like, you're not gonna know this one. <laughs> so that when I, I do the the movies um <laughs> I won't forget anyone but yeah anyways <laughs> that is all that I have for part one um if I've got any tv shows please let me know like dolls from tv shows because I was like really trying to look but some of these kind of hard to find but anyways not like hard to find but like I would be like ready to start writing out the information and then I find another one and I'd be like oh my gosh anyways let me know if these there's any dolls on here that you have or really want but yeah I'm Active thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed bye